Now we're going to look to fit the multi-positional saddle onto the dynamic pacer. The first thing that we need to do when fitting the MPS onto the frame, we've got two white buttons either side here and here. We need to make sure that they are pressed in. And then we're going to slot it into the gap underneath the frame. If you release the buttons, that's now in place. So we've got a number of different adjustments on the multi-positional saddle. The white button underneath the saddle raises the saddle up and that's on a, a gas spring. As you can see on the front here, we have a set of numbers to let us know that we are, we are consistently lifting that to a certain height. The next white button just here, if we press this one down, you can see that we can angle adjust the saddle front and back. And then a third button here at the top will allow us to move the saddle to the front of the frame and to the back of the frame. We've got a hip corral with a white button here where we can set the height of that corral wherever we need it to be. And then some safety straps supporting the back of the sacrum with two clips to keep the user nice and secure on the saddle. And we can tighten or loosen those straps on the side.